In this video I'm going to take a look at how you can set the background colour of a screen used for drawing turtle graphics within a Python program. And I'll also be looking at this from the object oriented paradigm viewpoint where we will be sending messages to instances of classes and in this case it will be creating an instance of the screen class that's associated with the turtle module. Let's consider this computer program and let's reference the execution space that I frequently use when describing the object oriented nature of Python programs. Now this will import everything we need from the turtle module and this line is going to create an instance of the screen class and there you can see the class and the instance being created. This bit of the code is referencing this class. This will create the instance of the class, i.e. this. And of course, this is the name that's bound to that instance. And you can see that I've done that with the label shown here. Now this line is a message to this object, which you can see in the schematic animation here. And of course, this will invoke this method passing in the screen demo and if we have a look at the schematic diagram we can see there's the message and it's going to invoke this and we know from the previous videos in this playlist that that will alter the title of the screen that will be displayed now this is another message to this object that will invoke this method passing in the string yellow and I'm going to show that in the schematic diagram here and you can see that that will invoke the BG color method that's part of this object it's part of the instance of the screen class of course as you might suspect this is going to change the background color of the screen that appears and if we look at the runtime this is what we will see and you can clearly see that the background color is indeed yellow now look to the cursor, the mouse cursor, moving around within this screen, within the yellow area. And I'm now going to click on the left button of the mouse and you can see that the screen disappears. Now the reason it disappears is I've got this code here where this will arrange for the object that's seen in the execution space to listen out for a click on the screen and you can see this says exit on click so the screen exits and is removed from the runtime. Of course you've already seen this in the previous videos but I wanted to do it again but this time showing how to change the background color to emphasize the message nature of object oriented programs in Python. And of course if we look to this line we know that that will effectively place an ear onto the object listening for an event. And of course when the event occurs which I'm going to show here with this dotted line representing the click on the left mouse button when the mouse cursor is over the screen area what will happen is the object will disappear. And of course for this program it will now finish executing and the execution space is no longer relevant so that too would disappear. So clearly I've repeated some of the material I covered in the previous videos in this playlist but this video in particular is about this message here which will change the background colour of the screen. So I'm going to carry on by emphasising how we can change the screen into different colours by sending this message here. Now this program is identical almost to the one we've just seen. The difference is if you look here I've changed this to blue from the yellow it was a moment ago. So when this program executes what you're going to see is this. And clearly you can see the screen is now blue. I've altered the program again to change this message and the change is shown here. And what you can see inside these quotes is a hexadecimal number where this represents the red component, this the green and this the blue component. And FF means we'll have all of the red switched on. This means we'll have none of the green and none of the blue. So this will form the colour red. So when this program runs what we will see is this. You can see we have a red background for the screen. Now if you're a little unsure of this search elsewhere on my YouTube channel 
and I've covered how to form colours using hexadecimal numbers in a little bit more depth. I've made another slight change to the program and you can see that change here. And on this occasion I have no red, I have the maximum amount of green and I have the maximum amount of blue. And when this program runs what you're going to get is this, where we get this colour. And this colour was formed by this hexadecimal number here, mixing together the red, the green and the blue. No red, full amount of green and full amount of blue and you get this colour. Here is another change to the program shown here and you can see I have this amount of red, this amount of green and this amount of blue. And now we're going to get a different colour which we can see when we run the program and you get this colour here. And of course whatever colour you want you can find these codes on the web and they'll tell you what the colour is. So when you wish to change the background colour of the screen you can use these hexadecimal numbers here within the quotes or you can use words like red, green, blue, yellow. So the choice is yours. You either can use the string which have the words like blue and yellow or you can use the hexadecimal values that you can see here. Check out the supporting website for these videos. In addition, why not follow me on Twitter as I issue a tweet every time I upload a new video.